Back squats are a challenging compound exercise and for some, it can be quite scary having large amounts of weight on their back. Many people often complain about knee pain or back pain either during or after squats. And if that's you, try these tips. One common issue which may give some people discomfort or a perceived weakness around the knee is their inability to avoid knee valgus. Valgus is a Latin term and means the tibia, the weight-bearing bone in the lower leg, is turned outward in relation to the femur, the bone in your upper leg, causing a knock-knee position. Tammy demonstrates this as she descends as she maintains her knee position before she loses her control and goes into knee valgus on the upwards phase of the squat. Another common fault is losing your heel positioning on the squat. This often results in the weight of the barbell displacing your centre of gravity forwards and may feel like you're going to fall face first, resulting in your quads and lower back heavily exerting to correct your balance. Some simple ways to change this to make your squats more efficient are to imagine your foot as a tripod, pushing into all three areas shown on the photo equally. If you're doing a high bar squat, ensuring you're keeping your chest up high on the descent will help, or if you're doing a low bar squat, ensuring you're not hinging too much at the hip. Outside of these tips, you could also be lacking ankle mobility and performing squats while standing on some small heel lifts like some weight plates, may assist you to reach depth and maintain stability. To challenge the knee valgus we talked about earlier, working on hip stability through the squat with a resistance band is a great start. The band will be trying to pull you into valgus, and so to complete the movement, you are training muscles like the glute max and medius to oppose knee valgus and help maintain a solid knee position in the squat. To further this, you could then put a barbell on top of your back and complete the squat with the band at the same time. After priming those muscles on how to resist knee valgus, you're ready to squat again. Set yourself up under the bar, pull the bar down slightly into your traps to create tension with your lats, lift up, take a step or two back, find your stability, and then happy squatting. <laughs>